Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. So in the last video I shared a uh, bit of an, an op shop haul where I got a whole bulk lot of music paper, some books, um, other papers to put in junk journals and this wedding dress. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to get this wedding dress. And I have decided to make up some of these music packs with all that music paper and also I've made up two fabric packs that contains the wedding dress materials so let me just focus on these ones first here are the two packs I'm just showing you both because they are the same pretty much so it's including some other things besides the wedding dress because you know <laughs> there was only one wedding dress but basically I cut up the bodice, if that's what it's called, which is the reason why I got it. Look at that! I thought that I could unpick it and just grab these bits and have them as appliques or something, but it's actually sewn onto the backing here and so all the beads and sequins fall off if I did that. So um, I just cut around it and gave this large piece but look what I did so I got those old um, uh, journal covers I made with that beautiful luxurious type of fabric and this is the idea that I had was to get this beautiful bodice and stick it onto the cover to dress it up a little bit and I've turned it into a pocket so hang on a minute let's just get this so you can see so I've turned it into a pocket and I like how it's sheer through so you can see it how cool is that but even just as decoration by itself like I really like that that is so pretty I'm not sure if the camera is doing that justice with like picking up the shine and the detail the beadwork it's so pretty uh, and then I just used a bunch of the bodice to make different versions so this one I really like this one it's just a simple line here and it's a pocket as well so so pretty <laughs> I really love these they're so elegant this one here just has a bottom pocket because already kind of got a pattern on this fabric look at that oh my gosh <laughs> it's like crystals and then this one here also has a pattern and I like how I use the shoulder piece of the bodice so it kind of looks like a handbag almost um, but it is a pocket as well so I could put a journal card in there a packet full of I don't know tags and things so I had a lot of fun with that and I really really love these these I feel like these are very very special journals <laughs> oh gosh look at that they're so pretty so what I thought is I have used it for what I wanted to use it for I've got four journals out of this bodice I will share the rest <laughs> so I've made up two packs that will go up in my Etsy and you get you know a very large piece of the bodice here that you can cut up however you want maybe even make a small journal with that I'm not sure <laughs> but look how pretty that is or just use it as decoration oh gosh it is so so pretty <laughs> so I'm really glad I can share a piece of that as well and then you basically like the wedding dress was massive so <laughs> you get a huge you know generous amount of the satin which just feels so nice I feel like I want to make pages out of it and of course pockets and flips and I'm thinking of making some collages maybe some scrap collage flowers like Bonnie <laughs> um, so I'll just have to experiment with that but it feels so nice my goodness and then there's this one that's that sheer one which is there's heaps of it my goodness <laughs> it's really quite heavy my goodness who knew that this would be that heavy I just would not want to wear this wedding dress because it's so heavy but yeah there's a lot of this sheer stuff which great again for pockets and collages 
I like the fact that you can see through it for pockets in journals. So there's a lot of that. Very generous. And then I just included some other things to make up the pack. So, oh wait, here you also get a bag each. There's six of the buttons from the wedding dress with a satin material. And then there's some of the sequins and beads that came off the dress to play with as well. Maybe to make a shaker bag or to stitch on. So they both have one of those. And then they both have one of these kind of linens. So I, from my previous op shop haul, I'm going to add a couple of things. So one of them is this linen with the embroidery. And I'll just show you the other pack. It's exactly the same up until this point. So they have the same linen, but where they differ is the other pack has this blue flower doily and this one has the pink flower doily. So I'm just going to show you the differences. They both have the same piece of this as well, which is from a top. <laughs> and I just cut it all apart because you can use all of these as is to decorate a page or you can cut out the individual flowers which I, I use some of these in my lace fashion journal and I've still got some over which I'll be using as well so but there's a nice large chunk of it because I guess you could make a journal cover with that too look at that wow that would actually make a really cool journal cover. And you could overlay it with something underneath. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I do like that. Uh, so they both have that same piece. One is just the front and the other is the back of the shirt or top. And then they both have three of these. So my journal covers that I made out of these lovely fabrics. These are the same type of fabrics except they're satiny and you could make a journal cover just with that and it maybe even use some of the, oh gosh that would actually be very pretty. <laughs> Look at that! Oh my gosh someone do that! <laughs> make a cover, oh that is really pretty. <laughs> Part of me is like I really want to keep this for myself now. <laughs> to make these journal covers. But yeah, uh, the sticker on this side, it it's, comes off sticky, so I don't know if you can wash it to get rid of the stickiness, but you can use this to cut out and make pockets and things. But I feel like this side of it, so, sorry, I'll show you, it opens up like that. This side of it could make such a cute journal. Then there's this type, the pattern. And then there's a brown one too. So you could make some great journal covers with that or just have fun, you know, cutting it up. And that is the little um, fabric pack that I've put together. So I hope you like it. Um, hang on a minute, let me show you the differences here with this one. So this one has a leaf design which is really pretty and I think this is called yeah pewter so one is this pearl tone and this is a pewter tone not sure if that comes up on camera that really cool and then this one the brown one with that design I just think they're so luxurious and regal these fabrics. Great for making journal covers. So I will part with these because I've already made, as you saw, four of four versions of these. Um, so glad to share them around. Oh, hang on. I just put that on the wrong pile. <laughs> so let's put that on top of there. 
and let's put this together here. So yeah, two packs. I love them. It's <laughs> so pretty. Oh my gosh. And yeah, I love that they all kind of go together. I went with a bit of a white theme and different textures and things and you can combine them in any way to make journal covers. That's what I was thinking, but of course you can just do whatever you want with them. And then let's bring out the music packs. I've made up four, four music packs. They're all the same. So I'll, I'll just hang on, <laughs> see if I can move this out of the way. I, uh, no, that's not gonna. <laughs> Okay, let's get in frame. <laughs> I've made up four packs. They've got 50 pages in them. And I think they come from 21 different types of music books. So this is what I love about the music paper. You know, you're not getting just one type. You're getting a whole range of paper types, paper weights, textures, and tones. So I love the different tones. You've got from the real creamy types to this darker brown to white and just different designs as well. Um, I mean, there's a lot to go through, so let's just try. And I did try to put multiples if I could. Most of them have two or three of each page. Some have just one, others have four. It's just a matter of how many pages were in the books. And the great thing as well about this is you can make embellishments with them, make your own envelopes, make your own paper page pockets, um, or use them as pages. So that's great to have a range of paper types and the multiples as well. So if you like, um, oh, I really like this paper, and what I would do is hoard it if I only had one. If there's two or three, you can go, oh, okay, well, I'll use that one as a page, use another one to make an envelope. <laughs> that kind of thing. Some of them are vintage and they're just, yeah, a whole great variety. Like, look at that colour, that's a great colour page. Um, depending on the, like, some of these are really large pages, so I may have to fold them in half already um, to fit in the envelope. But yeah, I just really love looking at all these different tones. Great for collaging as well, just to prepare a page, to break a page in for journaling, have it as a background. And I love that you can, you know, write all on the blank spaces, make tags with them, make journal cards with them. <laughs> Looks real great. I'm going to spread them out actually and take my photo of this. <laughs> There's quite a lot though, so I'll see how we go. <laughs> yeah, so that's the paper pack, or the music paper pack, if anyone's interested. Um, yeah, the links below will be... Oh, I can never say this right. The link below... The link to my <laughs> Etsy Willowbound journals will be below. So there's the paper pack, the music paper pack, and the fabric pack. Uh, if anyone is interested, um, what I'll do with the paper pack, I'll include some of these pages from the op shop haul that I showed in the previous video. I'll include some of these gorgeous illustrations um, as the freebie with the paper pack. So yeah, I'll include, I'll throw that in. Uh, and what I'll do for these ones, I've already got the freebie for this too, just a bit of extra lace and fabric pieces as the freebie with these packs. So yeah, that's what I've ended up doing. <laughs> and um, yeah, by the time you see this video up, the packs will be in my Etsy. And let me know what you think, and I'll look forward to my next Op Shop haul. By the way, I, I'm going to take up the challenge to and do a an op shop challenge op shop journal challenge if anyone wants to be part of it one of my subscribers for the thousand subscriber milestone requested or with with the um <laughs> the entry for the giveaway for that was to leave 
a comment about what you wanted to see. So one of the requests was um, to go to the op shop on a budget and only make a journal from those supplies from the op shop plus like things around the house. So let me know if you want to join me in that challenge. And, but what I really want to know is what budget should I have? She suggested 20 to $30. So do we go with 20 or 30 or 25 What do you guys reckon? And if you're going to take part as well, let me know if you would like to take part and what budget you would like for yourself as well. And we'll all try to do the same budget and we'll do it together. Uh, like I'll, I'll come back from the op shop, show you what I've got and then film the process of me making the journals and showing what other items from around the house I can get. Um, and yeah, so let me know if you're interested in that and let me know what budget I should have. <laughs> Alright, cool guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!